Hey, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today we are going to decorate this empty space. Uh, so right here I have kind of like nothing going on. I originally had a flower garden, so I just had some breeding flowers. Uh, but I actually recently moved them, so I don't need them here anymore. And now it's just kind of empty. And I'm currently terraforming other parts, so let's... I figured it'd be a nice way to show what you can do to fill out some of this kind of space. So, first thing we're going to do is change all of this back to grass, because we don't need all of this dirt. Here we go. Okay, so we got all of our grass back. I'm actually going to be using a wooden pattern that I've been using around my town a lot. It is a deck pattern, so we will put it down. So we'll start over here on this side. Just because it looks really nice and it fits a lot of these areas. And it'll also be kind of cute to have it looking over the water so it almost feels a little bit elevated. It actually kind of looks cute with a couple of boards in the middle like that, but we're just going to switch it back because I'm going to be placing a bunch of furniture on top anyway. There we go. So the deck is all placed, which looks pretty good. So I have a ton of furniture in my pocket, and what we're going to do is start with a bookshelf. And we'll just use this to kind of fill out the space up against the cliff, probably a little more towards the ramp, so it's kind of hiding the ramp in a way, but also looking really cute, and like that. Very nice, and that way it's not up against the edge, but also we have a little bit of space over here to put some furniture, so... I also have a stack of books, a cute chair, there's a nice garden wagon. There's a lot of cute things we can use over here. So I'm going to set down the stack of books right there, just because it just feels like a nice little pile of things. And if we want to move it after, actually I think what would even work better over here is if we got rid of this bush, and then we can set down the garden wagon we have right here. Nope, just like that. So it's like a nice little... uh spacer between where you came in from and kind of separating. Also the wood goes really really nice with it. We'll also put like a little iron wood cart down and we'll push this a little bit closer to the edge over here. Maybe right up against so it's not too close to the edge. And to go with our little flowery area that we have going on we can set down our cherry blossom bonsai. Just on top like that. So I want to make sure that we have room to sit down so we have some tables here. So we can put this one in the corner. I think it fits pretty nicely right here, along with a book on top. And a low table. Right up against the edge is actually really nice, because you get a good view of the water there. We might scooch it over just a smidge so we have more room to go onto this jumping stone. Place down this cute little cushion to sit and read your books. I actually have two cushions as well, so we'll put one on the other side here. Like so. And we'll stick a nice cute chair in the corner. Maybe about here with the stack of books right next to it. It's like they couldn't decide what to read, so they just grabbed all of them. And just to make it look like it's being used a little bit more. We will put a homework set right on the table. And we want to make sure that you can actually read. So instead of this tiny little lantern over here, what I'm going to do is actually put down a nice big street lamp. Just like that. So it's a little bit brighter and you can actually read a little easier. But yeah, I think this is uh, pretty darn cute. I might move this pillow over to the side a smidge. Um, just so we don't have to scooch as much. I think either way you kind of have to scooch a little bit. But it's not too big of a deal. Usually that's something that's a pet peeve of mine, but it, in this case it's not enough to make me hate it. Like, you can tell where to walk through, so... And then because this doesn't really match this over here, what I'm actually going to do is get rid of this stone path completely. And what we'll put instead is I actually have some really cute wood patterns that I've used before. Right here, we'll use this wood pattern below it, and we'll use this one to the side. Oops, wrong side. Here and here. And now it kind of like fits this little area over here a bit better where you can 
hop across and the paths blend a little bit better. They just look like they belong there. But yeah, so this is a nice little way to fill out a space and I think it came out pretty darn cute. Let me know what you think, if you think it came out well or not, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm excited to see what it looks like with the little street lamp as well. And uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys make a cute outdoor library and I will see you on the next video. Bye!